Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a call if you guys are looking to improve your credit score, lower your car payment, buy a car, trade in a car. Uh, if you're looking to purchase your first home, if you're looking to purchase a rental property, we can help you. Give us a call today, 877-205-7771. Talk to you guys soon and thanks again. Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about why do credit card companies let you go over the limit, okay? Well, it, the first thing is going to be, it's obvious, <laughs> that's how they make money. Uh, for those who don't know, if you go over the limit on your credit card, about 90% of credit cards have an over the limit fee, okay? And of course, the reason why they do that, that's how they make money. Now, of course, my, banks mainly make money from interest, and of course, second is going to be fees, right? So that's one of the fees that they're going to hit you with. Number two. Um, another reason why I let you do it is because it allows them to see what your spending habits are and then later down the line, if you, I'm talking like, for example, if you want to get a higher limit credit card, right, but the credit card is maxed out, which I just did a video on this. I don't know if I posted it before this or after this, but you'll see it around, around about this time, right? Uh, but I say that to say, if they see that your credit card is essentially maxed out completely or you have a very high utilization, chances are you won't get approved with that same account number, with that same, with that same account, I should say, with that credit card company um, trying to get a higher limit okay because again they see that you're already max everything out so when they see that you're doing something like that the chances are they're still trying to make money off of not just the interest itself but now you put yourself in a situation where you know it's gonna be very difficult to try to get yourself out of that situation just by asking for a higher limit why would you do something like that well um, for example let's say you have a thousand dollar limit credit card and it's maxed out if they give you a credit limit increase of just $500, your score is going to go up because your utilization just went down. Does that make sense? And one phone call can fix that. Now, every company is not like that. If you have like a $300 limit, I think it really depends on the limit or the company. But again, it never hurts to call and ask. If you have a, um, a credit card and let's say if it has like a, a $300 limit and it's maxed out, you could call them if your payment history is pretty good. You've been with them for like a year, a couple months, whatever. Just call them and just say, hey, listen, can I get a credit limit increase? Even if it's $200, that's $200 more that you didn't have before added to that utilization. Now, it would be stupid to go ahead and max that out because I like, do. They just gave you a credit limit increase. But again, I've seen that happen as well, too. Now, one thing you got to understand is that when you go over the limit, you essentially just put your utilization into a completely new bracket. Now, for those who know, if you know anything that's over 30% utilization is going to drop your score. That next tier has to be over 100%. And I've seen scores drop just because it went over 100%. You know, if you start going like, you know, 105, 100, and, you know, 15, 100, and I think the highest I've ever seen was 187% utilization. I'm talking about every card was well over the limit, like two, $300 over the limit. And they'll let you do that again because they know they're going to have you tied down. Now, some credit card companies will actually cut you off if you're always at over that limit. Now, that was a little bit, those are the companies that's bit more strict not going to say any names because everyone's you know get a little bit iffy about names and stuff so uh but again those are usually like the bigger banks i'll just say that right so but again you want to keep the banks from having making uh well putting you in a position where you can now where they're making money off of you know the interest that's being made um from the higher limits and with a higher balance i should say okay so that's one they're making money off of that they got the fees that's right after that of course if there is a over the limit fee and you already got the interest as i just mentioned before okay and that's gonna, and all this is just going to hurt your chances of doing future business with the company um you know it's already tough to kind of pay certain things off and we get that emergencies happen but you don't want to keep carrying that balance having that utilization high and then putting yourself in a situation where you're still um you know um have that a lower score because the problem is when you're carrying a balance like that when you're over the limit then you, life still happens right you still have other emergencies and if you can't swipe that card there's no emergency that's going to be there now you still need an emergency fund i'm not saying i'm not this is a, a credit card does not replace a savings account i think a lot of people haven't really gotten that yet so but again you got to have some type of emergency fund but again it's so much more easier to just swipe the card and then pay it tomorrow versus having to go into your savings account move the money over swipe that card whatever the case may be right and then of course if you ever if your car breaks down there's a lot of different things in which your credit may be ran but you're letting that credit card it essentially keep you down and i've seen it time and time again so okay so of course if you like this video like it if you want to share it share it and as always be sure to subscribe as we got nothing but great content on the way thank you guys so much have a great day